Welcome to the second video in this series, which is focused around Python for beginners. So if you haven't seen the first video and you haven't installed and you know downloaded and in installed the Python IDLE yet, then go and watch that first video and that'll explain how you do that. It's very straightforward, you just go to the Python website and you can basically download it, run a simple installation process. Uh, it doesn't take too long, it, you can probably install it in about 5 minutes or so, but if you want clarification then go ahead and watch that video, otherwise we're going to crack on with actually writing our first few lines of Python code, and in this tutorial we're going to cover strings, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. So you can see I've got my Python shell open on my desktop here, and what is a string? So basically it's just a way of saying to Python Right, I have some data that I want to store, and I don't really know what I want to do with, with it yet, and I don't really need you to do anything in particular. All I want you to do is store it, so that I can then use that data later, at a later date. So, you can just store it as a string, and then you can just use it later somehow. So, I'm going to show you what that looks like. The syntax for that is quotes. So you can use single quotes and double quotes interchangeably in Python. They mean the same thing, but they have slightly different purposes which I can explain in a second. So I'm just going to show you what a basic string looks like. Uh, you can see on my screen that I'm using the double quotes for this string. But when I hit enter you'll notice it does do single quotes. That doesn't matter because as I said they're interchangeable. So I could do the exact same thing with single quotes if I wanted to, and you'd literally get the same output. It just so happens that by default Python has been taught to use the single quotes rather than the double quotes when it's outputting a string. That's just a default, it doesn't really matter, it makes no difference to what it is actually outputting, it's still a string. Okay, so that's literally it, that's the syntax for a string, you can either use single or double quotes. But there are a few more things I'm going to point out. For example, there can be certain situations where you might choose to use one over the other. So, if we consider something with an apostrophe, like, uh, let's, let's go. So, you can see, by the colour coding in the Python shell, that because we're using single quotes, it looks at the start and it says, right, that's the start of the string because it's looking for the single quote. And then it goes, right, we're just going to ignore that, we're just going to save that for future reference, the let. And then it sees another single quote, which means end the string because it's already seen one. So that in Python is a string in itself. So all this is basically going to be, you know, it's going to confuse Python. It doesn't want it's going to. It doesn't know what it's going to do. So when you hit enter, that's what's called a syntax error, and it basically means you've typed something wrong. So there's a few ways that you can solve it, but what I like to do is use. You can either use double quotes like this, and you can see that works. And notice it does change to double quotes because if you output it in with wrapped in single quotes then that would be invalid python you can see that it changes to double quotes it really doesn't matter it's just still outputting a string okay so that's one way that you can solve getting around you know if you want to have single quotes within your python string you know if you want to store something with apostrophe apostrophes for example the other thing that you can do if you still want to put let's go in single quotes let's go with an apostrophe. We saw before that this didn't work because it got a syntax error, which is because it doesn't make sense to Python. It just thinks that those first five characters is the string and then everything after that just doesn't make sense. But what you can actually do is go to the character which is causing a problem. So in this case it's that second apostrophe which is sort of being a nuisance and what you can do is put backslash there. And what the backslash does is it's actually a special character in Python, and it basically says take that next character after the backslash and include it as part of the string, whatever it happens to be. It could be a double quote or a single quote or any sort of funky, weird, special character, pretty much within reason, and it'll still ignore it and include it as part of the string. So what you get is 
let's go, which is exactly what we wanted. So that's a little bit on the basics of Python strings. Uh, I hope that was useful. And we're going to cover variables in the next tutorial. And both strings and variables are very, very fundamental to Python. And even though you might not see the application for them yet, you'll realize that they'll become very, very important as you start to develop more complex applications in Python.